NASA's DART mission hits asteroid in first ever planetary defense test. Now, if you're unaware of the mission, DART is referring to and an acronym for the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. It's an on-orbit demonstration of asteroid deflection, and it was successful. Whether it deflected the asteroid, we don't know as of yet, but they certainly smashed into it. Now, after 10 months of flying into space, NASA's Double Asteroid Redetection Test, or DART, the world's first planetary defense technology demonstration, successfully impacted its asteroid target on Monday, today, just a few hours ago. Mission Control at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab, or APL, in Laurel, Maryland, announced the successful impact at 7.14 p.m. Eastern Time. And this is all part of NASA's overall planetary defense strategy, which we'll leave you links to all this information below. So please do your own homework. Now, DART's impact with the asteroid Dimorphos demonstrates a viable mitigation technique for protecting the planet from an Earth-bound asteroid or comet, if one were discovered. Now, this is a bold statement because the data isn't in. They don't even know if they deflected the object. So what they did do was successfully smash hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of stuff into an asteroid. Pretty amazing. Now, at its core, DART represents an unprecedented success for planetary defense. But it's also a mission of unity with a real benefit for all humanity said NASA's Administrator Bill Nelson. As NASA studies the cosmos and our home planet, we're also working to protect that home. And this international collaboration turns science fiction into science fact, demonstrating one way to protect Earth. Now, DART targeted the moonlit uh, Dimorphos, a small body just 530 feet in diameter, and it orbits a larger 2,560-foot asteroid called Didymos, which is shaped, well, very peculiar, almost like the Death Star. Neither asteroid poses a threat to Earth yet. We just smashed into this, so we don't know the results. So Now, the mission's one-way trip confirmed NASA can successfully navigate a spacecraft to intentionally collide with an asteroid to deflect it, a technique known as the kinetic impact. Now, the investigation team will now observe Dimorphos using ground-based telescopes to confirm that DART's impact altered the asteroid's orbit around Didymos. Researchers expect the impact to shorten Dimorphos's orbit by 1%, or roughly 10 minutes. Precisely measuring how much the asteroid was deflected is one of the primary purposes of the full-scale test. But what we're looking at here is near-Earth objects. There are hundreds of thousands of things flying around space. So we better get a hand, a handle on how to deal with these objects because eventually, and we know from events in the past, very catastrophic ones, that objects like this often come towards Earth. Now, planetary defense is a globally unifying effort that affects everyone living on Earth. And according to the team, and I quote, now we know we can aim a spacecraft with the precision needed to impact even a small body in space. Just a small change in its speed is all we need to make significant difference in the path an asteroid travels. And that is true. So we're all waiting, chomping at the bit to see, well, if it actually affected the orbit. Now, the spacecraft's sole instrument, the Didymos Recognizance and Asteroid Camera for Optical Navigation, or DRACO, together with a sophisticated guidance navigation and control system that works in tandem with Small Body Maneuvering Autonomous Real-Time Navigation, or SmartNav, enabled DART to identify and distinguish between the two asteroids, targeting the smaller body. These systems guided the 1,260-pound 
box-shaped spacecraft through the final 56,000 miles of space into Dimorphos, intentionally crashing it into it at roughly 14,000 miles per hour. And we'll take a look at that video now. Looks to me like we're headed straight in. Now, the camera is the camera on DART, the object that's about to smash into the asteroid. Oh, my gosh. oh wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Eight, yeah. Seven, oh, six, wow. five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. All right. We got it? Waiting. Waiting. And there you can see the moment they lost the signal. Pretty fantastic. Let's watch that come in one more time. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Eight, yeah. Seven, oh, six, wow. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Boom time. Oh wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. Oh. Now, amazingly enough, these systems guided the 1,260-pound box-shaped spacecraft through the final 56,000 miles of space into Dimorphos. And 15 days before impact, DART's CubeSat companion, the light Italian CubeSat for imaging asteroids, or Licia Cube, provided by the Italian Space Agency, deployed from the spacecraft to capture images of DART's impact and of the asteroid's resulting cloud of ejected matter in tandem with the images returned from Draco. Lycia Cube's images are intended to provide a view of the collision's effects to help researchers better characterize the effectiveness of the kinetic impact in deflecting asteroids. Now, because... Lycia cube doesn't carry a large antenna. Images will be downlinked to Earth one by one in the coming weeks, so we won't see what the actual impact looks like for quite some time, unfortunately. But DART's success provides a significant addition to the essential toolbox we must have to protect Earth from a devastating impact by an asteroid. And this is just a baby step. Um, this is definitely not a solution. We don't even know if it did anything. So, But it is clear that we can reach these objects, a tiny object like this, just a few hundred feet across, and smash into them. So that's good news. And it also demonstrates that we are no longer powerless to prevent this type of natural disaster. Coupled with enhanced capabilities to accelerate finding the remaining hazardous asteroid population by our next planetary defense missions, the near-Earth object or NEO surveyor, DART's successor, could provide what we need to save the day. And, and that's because we are literally surrounded by objects coming to smash into us. And so it's good news that we now have a little peace of mind that we can actually reach out and touch something, like an asteroid. Now... Let's uh, read on here a little bit more information. With the asteroid pair within 7 million miles of Earth, a global team is using dozens of telescopes stationed around the world and in space to observe the asteroid system. And over the coming weeks, they will characterize the ejecta produced and precisely measured Dimorphos' orbital changes to determine how effectively DART deflected the asteroid. And that's kind of cool that we're going to get that, uh, that we have to wait for that. And, well, fingers crossed. Now, when these results come in, they will help validate and improve scientific computer models critical to predicting the effectiveness of this technique as a reliable method for deflection of asteroids. This is the first of its kind mission, and it required incredible preparation and precision. This was a tiny object 11 million kilometers away. So... Our hats go off to the team there. And the team exceeded expectations on all counts, said APL Director Ralph Semmel. Beyond the truly exciting success of the technology demonstration, capabilities based on DART 
could one day be used to change the course of an asteroid that is coming to end life on the planet. Now, roughly four years from now, the European Space Agency HERA project will conduct detailed surveys of both Dimorphos and Didymos, with a particular focus on the crater left by DART's collision and precise measurements of Dimorphos's mass. So, lots of cool stuff coming from the DART mission, and we'll leave you... Looks to me like we're headed straight in. ...with the video of the impact. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Eight, yeah. seven, oh, six, wow. five, four, three, two, one. And that's a boom. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. All right. We got it? Waiting. Waiting. And we have an impact. We have the humanity in the name of planetary defense. Woo. We're headed straight in. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Eight, yeah. Seven, oh, six, wow. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. All right. We got it? Waiting. Waiting. And we have an impact. A family for humanity in the name of defense. Woo. Fantastic. And ladies oh, and gentlemen, fantastic. that is the one rare case where when you lose contact, you've been successful. And that is a boom, literally, to science and knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. I hope you got something out of the video. I hope you enjoyed the DART mission. And stay tuned for updates on what actually happened and did they affect this asteroid. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and be safe. We love you.